Okay, hello everyone and welcome to another video here on my channel. Today for this video I want to do something which will be quite helpful for a lot of people and that I wanted to do for a long time now and that is play Russia no moving. So I will be playing rounds of no moving Russia and also giving tips for guessing no moving in this country. So <coughs> to start this everything I will show you the most useful resource for no moving Russia and that is this map. That is the tree map of Russia. So tree distribution where each type of tree is found. This is immensely helpful for detecting certain regions as you will see when I will play. <coughs> so let, let me just explain shortly. Uh, first tree he we see here is the pine tree. It has this orangish bark under its gray bark and it has this puffy top, th these puffy tops and <coughs> Pine trees, basically, as you can see, it's the orange color on this map. There are a lot of them here, but they can grow pretty much all around Russia. They can be found, of course, in some areas more, in some less. Here they are very, very, very um, um, re representative of that area and maybe around this area here and this area here but some of those areas don't have coverage but you will find pines in a lot of areas so don't don't always use them to like guess here or something like that <coughs> the next tree we have here is the spruce tree and on this map the spruce tree is this pink color as you can see this area here has the most spruce trees that can be useful sometimes but they can also be found in certain other areas, but not as much. So, if you find a lot of spruce trees, this is the main area. Although, again, <coughs> don't take that for granted. The same is with pines. In some areas, there are very a lot, very many of them, and uh, like whole forests just of pines. But in other areas, they can also be found a little bit and stuff. Okay. So we are first going through coniferous trees and the last coniferous tree is the maybe uh, probably the most useful one and that is the larch. So larch loses its needles uh, during the winter unlike all the other coniferous trees but during the summer it has its needles and they are quite light green. As, as you can see there the differences between these trees they can I think be quite easily distinguished like this has very <coughs> light uh, needles and also the branches are bending upwards somehow and the needles are very uh, th they are very thin so you can see it's like a thinly thin puffs thin branches like you can see through them almost and they have this gray bark and stuff and for example spruce also has a little bit bending upwards um <coughs> branches but the the needles are much more are thicker you cannot see through them as much as through uh, larches and um, they are uh, darker and the shape of the tree is a little bit different than the larch you can see maybe a little bit more thin but depends again uh, there are different uh, shapes in different parts of Russia so beware of that but this is the general look of those trees and how to distinguish them again pine is very distinguishable and I think spruce and larch are easy to distinguish okay <coughs> and where does larch grow that's the main thing of this whole thing. It grows only in Siberia, so you won't find it east of the of the uh, west of the Ural Mountains. So 
so there are no larches up here so if you see a larch you'll know you are mostly in this area here so that is Siberia and even in some areas uh, in the east and up here th it seems they also grow a bit but I don't think there is a lot of coverage there maybe some parts but still it's mostly up here and it's always east of the Urals so that is one sure way to distinguish Siberia with these trees and that is quite helpful <coughs> okay the next tree is also very easily recognizable and that is of course the birch tree with its white bark you can always recognize it I mean this white bark is unmistakable and these small leaves all around and this is this is now a deciduous tree tree which loses its ne uh, its leaves during the winter so <coughs> these uh, birches can grow I think they are found like the same almost as uh, pines like all around Russia like but they are usually a bit more southern then uh, pines, spruces and uh, and um, <coughs> larches which are coniferous trees because they are deciduous but here they can be found even north, more north than them might be because there is a little bit more um, warmer climate there, I don't know but, and they are very short there uh, but of course again got to watch because you can find them even in the far east and in the middle and in the west so but usually that this strip you see they go under these other coniferous trees the next tree which is also very useful for distinguishing area and found like in only two areas in Russia I mean they're found I think more all around but if you see a lot of them everywhere like forests of them this is basically a map of forests and not like some planted trees or or singular trees or something so you those are oak trees so yeah the, the birch was this uh, light blue color and the uh, uh, larch was this what's it called like uh, yellow dark yellow or something or brown and the so the the oak trees are grey color so wha where can you find them? you can find them here around Krasnodar and also around Rostov and <coughs> here around uh, north of Vladivostok in Primorsky Krai there is a lot of them there that is also a very distinguishable area with those trees the same as here and these are forests again there are oaks even up here but these are oak forests which are shown on the map you can see them mostly there and there not sure I can't seem to find them anywhere else on this map so yeah those are the oak trees and last but not the least is uh, the like the biggest meta out of all the plant species in Russia and the most recognizable the Hokkaido cabbage which in Russia grows only only on the island of Sakhalin which is this island north of Japan so if you find these and a lot of them they are like everywhere there that's a surefire way you will be in, in, on Sakhalin so okay okay of course I'm gonna link this map in the description so everyone can look at it and it's also on geotips but let's just go into the map and play some rounds and let's see I'm gonna give even more tips depends on where we land <coughs> so this here to me hmm, this looks pretty much like some central parts of course you can see the trees we have we even have some trees that I wasn't mentioning but this looks quite weird we have those maybe around the Ural mountains though I'm not sure you can see there we have probably 
Bruce is Hmm. And it's a bit hilly, so I will go around the Euros, but this could end up being who knows where. There is that car there, that car there, nothing special really. Here, like, it looks pretty much like, pretty this location is quite generic, so. Maybe somewhere around Per Kungur. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> this these central parts of Russia are quite hard to distinguish sometimes because they can look quite similar in places. So it this was west of Moscow this time. Okay. Now this here. Siding Potok. We have a. Uh, number Prim Avtodor. Is this like Primorsky Cry? Yeah, it looks like Primorsky Cry. This is quite hilly, and we have those. We have the oak trees everywhere. Like, unless I'm getting baited here, and it's not there. But I think it could be there very much, and with this name, what what else could this be? If it's not Primorsky Cry, I don't know. So I would go down in Primorsky Cry. Let's look at the cars. Is the driving wheel on the right? If it is, that is also a sure far way that you are know that you know that you are in the east of the country because. <coughs> they import cars from Japan there, and although the right it's right drive, they drive uh, they have left drive cars. So the driving wheel is on the right and not on the left, like it should be for right driving. Okay, so I think it is Primorsky Kraj this time, and I'm gonna go there. I don't know where exactly. Let's go like here where the mountains are. Okay, it was Arsenyev. So yeah, when it's lush like that, it's quite lush and green. And we have that car and uh, it even said Prim, which meant Primorsky Kraj. That is this part of Russia near Vladivostok. Quite distinct. <coughs> okay, here I think I may know where this is, but again, it you I can't be sure because I've seen these places. Basically, we have a lot of uh, birches here, and there are also even different kinds of birches. But I, I'm not really an expert on that. But here, I think we are <coughs> near Blagoveschensk, which can't be seen now from this Chinese city name. It's either near Blagoveschensk or near here, but I think it would be near Blagoveschensk this time. Because look, we have these fields, a lot of them, agricultural fields, and we have birches o planted on the side of the road. I hope I'm not getting weighted and this will be West Rush. I really hope. But something really gives me the feel of the Blagoveschensk. <coughs> and it could even be this road. Can I even 5k this? Yeah, it should be pinpointable. Oh, there is a road to the south, like... I don't know. It's probably not here because the road is bending. Could be here, though. Okay, what <laughs> the Okay, we got the right road, so... There you have it. We got... Uh, from the looks from the trees, I mean, I've seen this area before, so it was recognizable to me, but it looked that area also looks quite a lot like many other areas. You just got to watch out when it comes up and recognize it. Okay, let's see here. <coughs> here we have something also which looks quite generic. Oh, wait, yeah. It seems 
first of all we have ty uh, pipes here which are, can be found a lot in southern Russia but uh, they can be found in other parts of Russia but like they are most common in southern Russia and look at this since we have here some fruit trees which I haven't mentioned but if you see fruits you are basically that's a sure far away or somewhere here <coughs> now where exactly I have no idea but again we have these kinds of we don't I don't seem to find any coniferous tree here like spruces pines uh, larches anything and we have look another fruit tree I don't know maybe like apple or something and another like maybe chestnut or uh, no, not chestnut but they are called so yeah I think this is southern Russia just somewhere let's go like Amav Armavir oh, okay it was more north it was in Orlovsky so yeah fruit trees are, are also very good let's call it meta for this part of Russia because more north than that it's too cold for fruits to grow so they are only there maybe there are some fruits I know I'm not like an expert on something like that but I know that <laughs> so this here now Kresno Krasnoyarsk okay <laughs> okay we here we have the sign but it did look like somewhat this part this is a bit hilly part near Krasnoyarsk can you can find hilliness like this and there are just tons of forests and it looks very remote Siberia looks more remote than the western Russia here you have a lot of pines as you can see and you have also birches these types of birches also very distinctive for Omsk, Novosibirsk that area they can grow in groups there it looks very distinctive and uh, here we also have those pines which grow in this area here but they are like there so we seem to be <coughs> west of Krasnoyarsk Krasno I don't know, it could be somewhere there, whatever, maybe it's even far away, I don't know, we're gonna see. What? <laughs> oh my god, insane, F if I put it on the road, oh fuck. Okay, whatever, <laughs> 4996, but yeah, we had the sign for Krasnoy, so that wasn't that hard. 18,581, no moving in Russia. As you can see with some of the tips and if you recognize you also have to play Russia to recognize how certain area looks for example Astrakhan is very distinctive with sandy soil because of the Volga river rivers in general have sandy soil near them which can be useful sometimes even in the US Mississippi Missouri but here we had an insane like I only missed a lot this one but I mean whatever it was this part is also hard oh, it's very hard because it looks quite similar in places but we distinguish this one that one was we had a sign this one and this one up here in Primorsky Kraj okay let's play some more of this for more <coughs> possible locations and tips okay this here this here to me looks like two places it could be Cheetah or it could be wait is this right to drive car again yeah this looks like a Japanese car so I would think this is near Cheetah mostly so it's probably not near the city itself although it could be look at those there are like big mountains maybe it's like near Irkutsk or something but I know there are huge these huge grasslands without trees it's all it's usually this area right here but I don't see any hills here maybe it could be there so it's either there or it could be here 
Wait, how does the road go? Well, the road goes like that, so it shouldn't be here and here. Here th it seems we have forest because it's green, so it shouldn't be there, right? But again, this doesn't fit either. Uh, maybe it could be something like this. I don't know, should I go all in and guess here? I think this would be a good guess, although it could be again near... It could be near Cheetah some, uh, on some other road. No, this should be the main road. Which makes me think it should... Yeah, there is no way it's somewhere here. So I t uh, this area also looks very similar. It's near Ulanwood. Now let's see if I can 5k this. That would be a good one, but... <laughs> I do that's a little bit stretching it. Like almost 5k that Krasnoyars. I hope it's not somewhere n south of the Urals or something, but I don't think it is. Wait, do we have a band? Uh, I don't see any bands here. Probably not. And there is a road going that way. And this road goes like 45 degrees angle. I mean, thi this actually does not fit that well. Unless Wait, let me look. Mm, maybe it's not exactly here. I know, I don't have a better idea. Could be. Oh, fuck. Oh, it wasn't even there. Okay. It was near Abak. <laughs> I was looking in the wrong place altogether. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I've seen this area before, but I forgot about Because this area can look quite similar to that area up here. But it has those, I guess, mountains. It's, it's very without any trees and stuff. Okay, anything here on the Scandinav, Karos, Neft, uh, Service, Shini, I don't know, I haven't learned, you can even learn area codes, but I haven't learned, oh, Priozersk, St. Petersburg, okay, this was an easy one, Priozersk, it's somewhere there, oh, Priozersk, St. Petersburg, could be like there, or maybe corruption or Pervomaiskoye. It could be even Viborg. Maybe I should go Viborg actually. Oh, maybe it is Viborg. Christos was. Oh, it's the it's the Easter <laughs> location. The Christ is reborn. It says. Uh, yeah, of course, l Cyrillic helps and stuff. I may even do a video on Russian Cyrillic. Because I made a sheet. I can link the sheet in the description, actually, for understanding it. And probably make a video. I, uh, let's go. Let's go, Viborg. Maybe it's not there. Oh, let's go. <laughs> nice one. Didn't... It wasn't 5k, but it was a good one, anyway. Okay, this here... Jaža Petra Zavodsk. Okay, we <laughs> have a sign again. Sometimes, thi because this map is pinpointable and then has a lot of locations on intersections and you will find signs. Priaža Petra Zavodsk, Kolonets. Wait, where is Petra Zavodsk? Is this way. Priaža? Priaža is the same way as Petra Zavodsk. 38 and 63 to 38 to Olonet, 63. So like 1, 2, 3. We should be somewhere. Yeah, it seems that it's here. GG's, nice one. This here <coughs> should be somewhere in in where <laughs> oh damn the oof I'd say this is quite a tough location but by the looks of this building I can say this is quite far east so it's somewhere in Siberia it could even be 
it could even be so it's something looks like it's like Sakhalin to me though it could not be Sakhalin as well is that is that the sea to the south because this to me mostly looks like Oha but uh, the, the orientation doesn't fit for Oha but if the sea is to the south let's say it's like that it could be Anjiva or even Korsakov Let's see, the, the orientation of the road is going like that. So it doesn't fit really for this one. Could be even Ozersk. No, this is too small. I know, maybe the sea is not there, maybe it's this is not at all in Sakhalin. I mean, there are even uh, license plate codes. You can all find that on Geotips and uh, and the area phone area codes <laughs> but i can't even read it read it from here that's sometimes only useful but i haven't haven't learned them anyway so i know i'd go here it could be wherever it could be somewhere else oh it oh oh i didn't look here okay but whatever i mean at least we got at least we got Sakhalin, recognized Sakhalin. So what did look like Sakhalin there? Is there anything? I don't know, just how remote the build, the, how bad the buildings looked. How remote it looked. And just these trees and maybe the road even, this, their blocky road. Rocky mountain road. But yeah and just general look i don't know what gave it away exactly look to me because i've seen a lot of places in russia i have a map called urban siberia if you want to check that out it's quite <laughs> quite a cool map and it's good for practicing siberia for <laughs> example and there's also map rural siberia and maps of russia you can practice whatever now this to me looks like Novosibirsk Omsk area Eta, Ema Oof. It says Ufa, doesn't it? Okay, then it's not there Oh, unless, unless it's like Chelyabinsk and it says Ufa Wait, Ufa is towards the north So maybe it's this road this road somewhere like wait what's the orientation of the road it feels like that i would i would go here actually mm, but we have like an exit here and there is no exit there like no bridge and it shouldn't be there shouldn't it no 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 so if Ufa is to the north, it could be it could be one of these to be honest. Yes, it could very much be. But am I gonna I'm not gonna 5k. I don't know. I could I could look for this place. It's probably not that close to Ufa. Sterlik. And there are no bridges over here. I know. Could it be another road? Which one? It could be even far away from Ufa because the signs in. It could say Sterlitamak, Orenburg. It's not there. What does it say on the sign? Chelyabinsk, Ufa. Okay, so this could be fucking even south of Chelyabinsk. Yeah, I think this should be more Chelyabinsk. Let's go. Maybe it, I'm I'm wrong. Maybe it says something else on the side. Fuck it. Oh yes, let's go. <laughs> nice, nice guess. Could have even looked for it, but whatever. 
want to waste time. Okay, so this time an even better score. We missed a bit this one. This one we got the right island, although the rock city. Like this here we had the signs, so those were easy. And here also we had the signs. <laughs> but yeah, okay. I think this video is long enough. Yeah, gonna be ending it here. So all these uh, resources I mentioned will be linked in the description. And of course got to practice. That time I do Shasha now moving again and uh, that Cyrillic guide video or something like that. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you find this all helpful. But until then, stay good. And bye-bye.